is desolation a fitting fate <laughs> <laughs> Glad to see that still works. <laughs> An armor piece bearing Lunda's brand. Shame it's broken. Nice bit of work otherwise. Then why leave it? You suspicious of her, brother? If the orb she seeks is important, she would not have left it behind. Ah, uh, perhaps. Life returns to the garden. Good. Ah! This mentions a spell that puts trolls to sleep, and a magic relic that acts as a sort of counter spell. Sigil arrows won't work on this. garden still aches. There must be more poison somewhere. <laughs> Nothing can grow from scorched soil. Spirit. No. Freya, you returned. Astrid, what happened to you? To your garden? The anger you have. My life's work rotted. My monument to your glory reduced to this. I am sorry, my queen. You need never apologize to me, old friend. I swore to keep this garden in bloom until you return to live forever amongst its treasures. A just punishment. I will return, Astrid. Kratos? We purge this garden of poison. Why? The earth is a reflection of those who tend it. So long as the land is plagued, her soul will be as well. <gasps> we have to destroy the totems. They're poisoning Astrid's garden. When my garden blooms...
It's finished. Let's return to Astrid. The land, it's alive again. I can feel it. Yes, your garden grows again. Freya, how did you? It's okay, Astrid. It's time to move on. Thank you, goddess. I do love you. And I you. You've done a great kindness. A temporary one. The garden will die again. All things do. That is no reason not to try. Despite his actions at Midgard, Atreus does still care for you. I know. I raised a son, too. It may be hard to believe, but he was quite similar to Atreus at this age. He adored his father. Always wanted to do... ...right by him, and was constantly frustrated that no matter what he did, he never could seem to get his approval. He confided in me a lot, sought the comfort his father withheld. I wonder if your son could benefit from that too. He has befriended the other dwarf, the Blue One's brother. Oh, well, if Sindri has that covered, I suppose there's no need for me in his life anymore, is there? That is not what I meant. That was sarcasm. What is it, Mimir? Ah, it's nothing, brother. Just... You ever have those moments where you wish you could... ...go back? Rewrite your own past, make different decisions. Journeying through time is more trouble than it is worth. Ah, uh, fair point. You're speaking metaphorically, right? No. Of course you're not. was not exactly a guest of the Aesir. I meant by the time they burned him, he'd been a prisoner for some time. Let this wait. Stay alert. Get up, brother! 